Hello again. Uh, we're working with logarithms. We're going to do inverse operations. Uh, pretty much it. These can be a lifesaver in terms of time spent. Uh, I'll show you just a quick trick really quickly and then I'll explain why it works. Uh, because I know there's people who think, ah, yeah, I, 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 I see it but I don't believe it. All that good stuff. And I'll show you with this one. This one looks more difficult but eh, it's really not. Okay. So uh, if you see a log of a base and its uh, base of that problem is the same as the log of the base, they cancel out. And you're left with 8. Uh, some people are saying, well, uh, okay, uh, explain that to me again because I didn't understand it. Okay, I'll show you. Log base 6 of 6 to the power of 8 equals y. It's our variable that it's equal to. Uh, if I want to write this in exponential form, I take 6 to the y equals 6 to the 8th. Well, what's going to make y equivalent to this? 6 to what equals 6 to the 8th? y equals 8. Okay. But the easier way to do that is very simple. If you see a log of a base, and then you have that same exact base, they cancel out. Bam! That's an inverse property. You're left with 8. Finito. I am done. And you don't have to keep doing it. But if you want to, you can. Uh, same thing here. If you have uh, x, uh, exponent of 3 and it's taken to the base, uh, sorry, it's taken to uh, log 3, what you do is you cancel this out and you're left with 4x minus 1. Now, if you don't believe that's the case, I'll go ahead and rewrite it. 3 uh, to the log base 3 of 4x minus 1. Now, what we do is we suppose it equals y, so we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, it's very simple how we go ahead and do this. If we want to write this in logarithmic form, it's log of 3 y equals log 3 4x minus 1. Hmm. Okay, log base 3 equals log base 3. So that means these are the same, so y equals 4x minus 1. Or what do I have to put in for my y in order to make that true? 4x minus 1. That's all. That's the answer. Uh, instead of doing that, though, instead of taking like two minutes to do each problem, all you say is, oh, if I've got an exponent, I'm sorry, if I've got a base and it's raised to the log of, excuse me, of that same exponent, cancel them out and whatever's left is left. Uh, same thing here. If I've got a log of a base, and then there's that same base uh, proceed, uh, sorry, follows it right after, cancel them out, and that's it. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. There is actually another way to do this in terms of, uh, well, I don't want to do that right now because that's a little bit more complicated. I'll show it later on. But that's probably the best way. That's the best way, in my opinion, at least the best way I can do it to explain it without using inverse properties. That's the best way with inverse properties, which I think is the easiest way. Uh, I hope that helps. Other than that, have a great day. Bye-bye.